Hello everybody, Vince here. Today I'm going to be doing a video tackling the question, what is a virtual machine or a virtual box and how do I use one? I've been getting this question ever since 2007, but now I decided that I'm going to finally do a video on this subject. Basically a virtual machine is a machine that is running on your current machine. So it's basically a virtual machine in your actual machine, your machine being your computer. So basically you can run another OS on top of another OS. That's what it is. So you can run a copy of Linux, any type of Linux over Windows or anything you want to do with a virtual machine. It's virtual. This video will demonstrate it on a Linux distribution called Slacks. And you might have heard of that name before. That's because of my last video on my how to make create a bootable USB drive. This is the same OS that I used for that demonstration. But in this demonstration, we're going to be using a virtual machine for this demonstration. Don't you love saying demonstration? Demonstration, demonstration, demonstration. Can you say it 10 times? Ah, whatever. Okay, so the first thing you need is a program called VirtualBox. Just go to Google and type in VirtualBox. Go to the little first link you see, click on downloads, and then you can download for Windows, OS 10, or Linux. Run the setup file, follow the setup, and once that's done, great. Now the second thing you need is an operating system. Now if you have a Windows XP disk, fine, you can use that. Or if you want to download an ISO of Ubuntu or Slacks, then you just go to the website and download the ISO, the disk image. So just go to Slacks, if you want to use Slacks, go to the first link you see, and then you can click on Get Slacks, and then you can download the ISO for that. And I already did. Okay? and then. Once you're done getting the VirtualBox application and the Slacks disk image, click on the VirtualBox application. This window will pop up to register. You don't have to register, just click on cancel. Okay, so this is VirtualBox. It's really cool. This is the application that will make a virtual machine on top of your machine. And it has a really clean interface too. Okay, so let's get started right away because we want to run virtual machines on our normal machines, right? ASAP, right? Well, let's click on new. The wizard will pop up. Just click on next. Type in a name for your operating system. You could type in anything. I'm just going to name it Slacks OS. Choose the operating system type. It's Linux for me since I'm running Slacks. And since Slacks isn't listed on the version, just click on other Linux. I'll just click on other Linux. But if you're running Windows, be sure to click on Windows and then choose the version of Windows you're running. And just choose the operating system you are going to use. Click on next. Now, this is RAM. You have to create how much RAM you want on this virtual machine, like the RAM on your machine you're running right now. Everything needs RAM, and so this virtual machine needs RAM too. Since I have four gigabytes in this machine, I'm gonna dedicate one gigabyte to this virtual machine. 1,024 megabytes equal one gigabyte. So click on next. And then you can create a hard disk. This is, this is where it's going to store all the information of your virtual machine on your hard disk on your computer. So the virtual hard disk will be stored on the normal hard disk in your computer. So this will take up how much space you would want to choose for this hard disk on your virtual machine. And it will store it on your physical hard disk. Not the virtual, but the physical hard disk. If that doesn't make sense, it doesn't matter. You don't have to understand that. Just click on Next. Okay, now it will welcome to the create new virtual disk wizard. This is where you create a new disk. Click on next, and then just choose dynam dynamically expanding storage. And this is how many gigabytes you want your disk to be. Like I said, it'll dedicate how much space you choose on this setup on your physical hard drive. So I'm going to be choosing two gigabytes, somewhere around two gigabytes. Okay, two point. 01 gigabytes. That should be enough for slacks. I'm not going to be doing anything with this operating system, but if you're going to store pictures or whatever on this operating system, then you might want to go to 50 gigabytes at least. Click on next once you're done. And the location where a slacks virtual machine is going to store the hard disk is over here. So C users, your username, dot virtualbox hard disk, then slacks OS dot VDI. That's the virtual hard disk that this virtual machine will read off of. So the virtual hard disk isn't really that virtual. It's stored on your hard drive. Click on finish and click on finish. Okay, so once you're done, you have to do something. You have to mount a CD or DVD. So right click this, 
Slacks OS on the list and click on Settings. Then go to CD slash DVD ROM and then click on Mount CD slash DVD Drive. You can use a physical disk, just put it in your computer and choose the letter of your physical disk drive, or you can use an ISO. For this demonstration, I downloaded the disk image of, I of Slacks, and so I'm going to be using the ISO image file of Slacks, and it already chose it for me, Slacks 6.1.2.iso, and it's 200 megabytes. Okay, and now go to floppy, you don't have to mount a floppy drive, audio, you can tweak the settings here, serial port and everything, general. Slacks OS. You can edit the RAM if you made a mistake, and you can edit the hard drive, um, your primary, or you can choose. If you're a tweaker, then you'll know what you're talking about. But for all of you newbies out there, no offense, just um, follow what I did, and you should be fine. So just leave everything alone. Just choose the most important thing. You have to mount the CD slash DVD drive to a physical drive or an ISO image file. And I'm going to be doing this demonstration with an ISO image file. So once you're done with that, click on OK. And now you're ready to start your virtual machine. So choose the virtual machine you have on VirtualBox and click on Start. And does this screen look familiar to you? Well, it's the Slacks operating system. So it's going to boot into Slacks and all this text will pop up. Well, it's like deja vu. If you didn't see my last video, it's like deja vu. And so it'll boot into Slacks with that ISO image. It'll take around two minutes, but with editing, I can get this done in a snap. Okay, so now it's booting into the Slacks operating system. Wow, cool operating system sound. Deja vu, huh? Well, here's Slacks. Now you can go into full screen. So machine, you can go to full screen mode. So let's go to full screen mode. Okay, so we're in full screen mode. And you can tweak everything in Slack. So you can use Firefox if you want. So, and here's a problem that most people might be suffering from. You see this little cursor? Well, let's go to the left. You can't get out of the window with that cursor. What you have to do is click on control. The right control on your keyboard. The right, the direction right, not like the right control. And then you can adjust everything out of the window. So. Once you click on the virtual machine, you'll be stuck in that window. So now you can go to Firefox and type in a website, so google.com. Isn't that cool? It's a machine within your machine. And from here, you can install the actual operating system because basically with Slacks, you're running the live operating system. That basically means you're just taking the CD and you're just playing with it with a CD. So you technically can't save anything right now unless you install the operating system. This applies to any Linux distribution like Ubuntu. And on Windows, you won't have the option of the live operating system. You have to install straight off Windows. And yeah, that's basically it. And once you're ready to shut down, all you have to do, so to get out of the window, once again, you have to click on the right control. Click on machine. Click on ACPI shut down. And it will shut down like any other computer. So yeah, that's basically it. Virtual machines. Isn't that cool? I hope you learned something today. Email me at Vince at VinceBognot.com. Send me tweets at Twitter.com slash VinceBognot. Save 25% off your next Hover domain using coupon code Vince at Hover.com slash Vince or using coupon code Vince at checkout at Hover.com. And anything else I'd like to plug? Oh yeah, see you later. Here's a preview of Butterscotch's Pimp My PC. And today we're talking about personalizing that browser experience. So we're gonna talk about some Firefox add-ons. Let's get started, guys. Now what those add-ons do are allow you to personalize and pimp out that browser experience. Now what we're gonna do is start with the basics and show you how to get those add-ons first of all.